And that breaking news, a break in the case, an arrest made after several indecent, indecent exposures on the WNOD trail in Northern Virginia. I'm Erica Gonzalez. Juan Alfaro Rodriguez is charged in the case and is being held without bond. News Force Mauricio Casillas explains what the arrest means for a community that's been on high alert. We've been out here at the WNOD trail on multiple instances following those attacks, and we've spoken to several trail users who say these incidents have changed the way they use the trail, when they come out here, who they're out here with. But now, following the news of the arrest, there's been a collective sigh of relief. A community now at ease. I couldn't be happier. It's been a real concern. Ted Miller's walked the trail for years. He says the attacks and the uncertainty over whether police would be able to catch the perpetrator had a major impact on residents. People have had anxiety about walking, more especially in the evening time. And that's a shame because, you know, we're a neighborhood where a lot of people have dogs, they have kids, they like to take a walk, they love to use the bike path. Police say the first attack happened on Friday, August 26th, near the Fairfax County Parkway. That same afternoon, another woman was attacked near Ferndale Avenue. Police say that Tuesday, a 14-year-old girl was walking her dog on the trail in Reston and she was attacked as well. Police say there were three other reports of a man exposing himself to women on the trail earlier in the month. I have a coworker who's like, I know you love to bike on the trail and you're a single woman, like don't go out anymore. So it's nice to know that it's safe again. It's still not clear which cases Rodriguez has been tied to directly, but Fairfax County police say that they will be providing more information on how they are able to catch him and those multiple incidents in a news conference coming up on Monday. You can count on News 4 to be there to bring you the very latest. In Hernsen, Mauricio Casillas, News 4.